Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little sheep that I made for my farm blanket. Down below I'll have the materials list as well as the written pattern. To start we are going to use whatever color you want your sheep to be, the main body of the sheep to be. So I'm using um, an off-white color and we are going to make a slip knot. and chain 9. Once you have 9 chains we are going to make our first bobble. So in the 1, 2, 3, third chain from the hook we're going to make our first bobble. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then we're going to yarn over again, we're going to insert our hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So we kind of, we did that pattern two times, we're going to want to do that for a total of four times. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, there was the third time, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and there was the fourth time, and you should have five of these loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all of those loops. So that is how you create one bobble. Now we're going to chain one. We're going to skip a stitch and then we are going to make another bobble into that next stitch. So skip a stitch and then bobble in the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to want to do that four times total. There was one. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. There was two times. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. So one more, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And that was four times. So there should be five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all those loops, chain one, skip a stitch, and then we're going to do a bobble in the next after the skip stitch. And if you get lost counting, um, just know when you finish all four of those, there should be five loops on your hook. So after that one, I have five loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all of them, and then chain one. So we're going to do that all the way to the end. So skip one, and then there's our last stitch. So we'll do a bobble in that last one. Okay, so we should have four bobbles in that row. Uh, for the last one, we don't have to do a chain one. We are going to do a chain two. So then we could turn our work and then work on 
to the second um, row. So for rows two and three, we are just going to do uh, bobbles again. So we are going to make a bobble right here. So not here, I guess this would be considered the first stitch. We're gonna skip that. We're gonna make a bobble right into there. Okay, and then chain one, and then we are going to skip. If you look on the top, it's easier to see the stitches. So we're gonna skip this stitch and then bobble into the next. And we're just gonna do that all the way down uh, for row two. And then we're gonna do a third row of just bobbles. Uh, so go ahead and pause here, and then I will meet you back when we have all three rows of the bobbles. Once you have your three rows of bobbles, this is what it should be looking like. So before fastening off, we are going to make the tail of the sheep. So we're going to chain two. And then we're going to make a bobble right here on the side. So we're going to turn our work 90 degrees. And we're just going to make it um, in this stitch here. It doesn't have to be exact of where you put uh, the bobble just as long as it's on that side of the stitch. So go ahead and fasten off and leave a fairly long tail uh, because this is the yarn tail that uh, you will use to sew your sheep onto your piece of crochet. Okay, so there's the tail. I put my tail on the right side. So this is how the body should be looking. Uh, next we're gonna make the feet. So go ahead and switch your hooks to an F or 3.75 millimeters. And for the legs, I am going to use um, a tan color. So a bit darker than this off-white that I used. So whatever color you want to use for the sheep's legs or skin, I guess, because we will use this color for the legs and uh, the head. Okay, so here's our body. We're going to work the legs on the bottom, so we're going to want to turn this upside down. So the tail is on the bottom left corner. So we're going to attach the first leg on this row. So we're going to skip one stitch and then attach it into that second stitch. Then we're going to chain up two. And then we are going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. And then fasten off. That's it. This sheep has very little legs. Okay, so we're gonna fasten off. I'm gonna cut this here so it doesn't get in the way. Oops. Okay, and then for our next leg, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Uh, we're just gonna wanna skip two stitches. So one, two. Attach the yarn, chain two, and then double crochet into that next stitch and then just fasten off right away. And then once you turn it around, uh, you'll see his legs. So I like to weave in and cut off excess as I go, um, just so it's not in the way. So this I'm going to weave in here and then 
I'll show you how to do the head. Okay, for the head, we're going to start with uh, the same color you used for the legs. So I'm using this tan color that's a bit darker than um, the main body color. And we're going to start with the magic ring. We're using our F hook, 3.75 millimeter hook. So we're going to start with a magic ring. chain one and then we will do ten single crochets into the ring three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, one more makes ten. Okay, so go ahead and grab that tail end, pull it tight so it closes that magic ring, and then we are going to join to the first single crochet of the round. So that means the chain one in the beginning uh, does not count as a stitch. It's just going to hang out there. Okay. And then for round two, we are going to chain one. Make one single crochet in that first stitch. In the next stitch, we will make a half double crochet. In the next stitch, we will make two double crochets all in one stitch. There's one and two double crochets in that same stitch. This is going to start forming the face of the sheep. Okay, so the next stitch we are going to do a half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, a single crochet. And now we are going to chain four. One, two, three, and we're going to go back into that same space where we made the single crochet and make another single crochet. So that's going to form a little ear on the side of the sheep's head. Okay, in the next four stitches we're going to do single crochets. going to make that second ear so we're going to chain four again one two three four and we're going to single crochet into that same space where we did that last single crochet and then we should have one stitch left we're going to single crochet in there and then join to the first single crochet again that beginning chain uh, won't count as a stitch so we're going to join and then fasten off and leave a bit of a tail because we're going to want to sew this onto the body So. 
So here is the basic shape of the head. So there's its ears and its nose. Uh, so next we're going to do the little floof of hair on his, or his wool on his head. So grab the same color that you use for the main part of the body. I'm using this off-white color. So for the uh, wool on his head, we're going to use one hook smaller. We're going to use an E, a 3.5 millimeter hook. And we are going to attach the yarn uh, right next to his right ear. We're going to chain two. And now we're going to do popcorn stitches. So it's a little uh, different than bobble stitches, but it's kind of similar. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and we're going to do that three times. So there was one, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, two times, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, three times. Yarn over and pull through all of the loops, and that's one popcorn stitch. So we're going to make one more, uh, skip a stitch, and then work into the next. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, there's one, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, there's two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, there was three. So yarn over and pull through all of those loops and then we're just going to fasten off. So there is his head. Uh, we're going to do his face next. So I'm going to grab some safety eyes and some pink yarn and then I'll meet you back here. So here are the safety eyes. These are six millimeter safety eyes. Um, you can also use black yarn if you would rather uh, sew your eyes on. So I just put them on like this. And that looks good to me, so I'll keep them there. Uh, this is what the back looks like. So you would just push these on the back. This is a sample and I don't want to waste these, so I'm not going to put them on but you would just put them on here and then push them down. Uh, there's little grooves on these safety eyes so you'll hear it click once they're in place. So once the eyes are in, then you could sew on your nose. I just have a little bit of pink yarn here on my tapestry needle. And I'm just gonna sew a little V. At the very bottom. Just like that and then I'll just tie these together in the back since no one's gonna see the back of the head and then I'll cut those fairly short so there's the head and then you just sew it onto uh, the body you can use this tail end and kind of just weave it over until it gets to the body and sew it down onto the body and then you can use this to sew onto your piece of crochet. So that is how you make a little sheep, a little crochet sheep. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.